Hi everyone. Um, I thought it was about time I dropped in for a little chat. You might be kind of thinking, where's she gone? Where was Friday Souls last week? Well, actually, I did start to record this for Friday Souls, but then, you know when you just have those weeks? It's just been so busy, um, but here we are. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Alison, and my channel is so like Dotty, same name on Instagram. Thanks for stopping by today. And yeah, just a little bit of a chatty catch up. I'm going to tell you what's going on with my son's school because I've been super busy with that. I can share a bit of um, some pictures and things of the new uh, room. And also I'm going to tell you more about this gorgeous dress that I've been pattern testing. So hang fire and I will tell you some more about it shortly. So yeah, why have I been so busy? Carl's, I, I, I just should say thank you first of all for all your lovely messages about Carl. Um, he's still poorly, he's still off work. Um, he is a little bit better. So it is Monday and he's feeling just a little bit better but he kind of like does something simple like goes in the shower and he's absolutely exhausted and has to lie down so anyway he will be better soon I'm sure he, obviously he's negative now and um, but yeah last week was quite let's just say challenging because I still officially can't drive well not officially I can't drive I'm hoping I'd go back for my outpatient review and x-ray on Thursday and I'm hoping that they go okay you can drive so I've literally emptied everything to do with my son's school um, from my other room and in my dining room I had like two metre tables, desks, chairs, machines, everything and then of course Carl got ill and he just wasn't well enough to do anything and I couldn't drive and I was like mm, what am I going to do? <laughs> anyway thank you Graham. I know you watch my blogs. Carl is, I always say Carl's Graham's friend but I've known him for so many years now, almost 10 years, that he is my friend and you know when you have that moment of need and you just think who can I ra ring? I need some help and he was right there in a heartbeat so um, thank you so much. I know I've, I've said thank you a lot to you in person but I really really appreciate everything that you did to get me shifted in there because we did have our first classes in there so I'll drop some pictures in as I'm chatting um, of um, the girls that have been so far we've got another session tonight it's the final these ones have been my um sort of some test sample group kind of thing if you like of the whole course they kind of graduate tonight and um, with the last t-shirt session and god they've done so well i just think you know we were saying this yesterday when you think three sessions ago some of you hadn't even touched a sewing machine and now you're making a t-shirt and attaching a neckband I just think that they've done so well and I can't wait to see where they go next with their sewing and um, so hopefully you've seen a few little pictures and things there's some things to go on the wall yet but um yeah we've just not quite got there with that yet but I love the building You'll see some of the photographs when I chat about this dress um, that I've taken within that building. When I went to look around it, I was like, oh, that'd be a good spot for a picture. Oh, that'd be a good spot for a picture. Um, so, yeah, so it's been a busy week, but I'm hoping that this week is less busy with other things and more busy with sewing things. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you about this dress because this is the new pattern which is launching, I believe, this Sunday coming up. And it's from Jane at the Dressmaker's Closet. Um, I've made a few of Jane's patterns now and uh, they just are a dream to sew with, a dream to make up. I've made the Nell dress and I've made this is the Dixie dress. So, um, this is... Um, obviously this is for pattern testing so I don't know if the actual artwork is going to change at all but um, this is it. So it goes from X, I'm going to read it rather than show you because you can see it there. So it goes from extra small to 2XL which is a UK 6 to 22. It's quite a loose fit. You can make it in a, a top with sort of a peplum, uh, like a bit of a, a midi length if you watch and um, follow Jane on Instagram dressmakers closet you'll see she's been sharing loads and loads of pictures and videos of all the different ones that she's made and um, and she's she made this for sale for a long time and she's got a vlog about how it kind of has come into development so you can see the three versions of it there so I made the maxi length and um, just above the ankle it's actually perfect for me and as you can see it's long or short sleeves as well so you know you've got a top sort of a tunic length and a dress long and short sleeves lots of different options in it and um, so it goes um let me just see 
So, sorry, I'm just I'm just looking at fabric and stuff I got mixed up. No, that's fabric requirements. Let's get to the right thing, Alice and the sizes. Okay, so an extra small goes for body measurements from a 34.5 and finished garment measurement of 36 inches. And a 2XL goes from a 49.5 inches to a finished size of 51 inches. Now, I am a 44 bust and I made the XL and that says for 45 inches and it's a great fit across my bust um, you, as you can see there and um, with the three buttons on I know Jane is amending the pattern for those that are full of busted like myself to make it with a five button hole option which is you know an easy thing to do and um, that was some of the feedback from um, the testers and the finished garment size for the XL is a 47 so it just feels like a really nice fit on me it's so comfortable I've worn it today I've had so many compliments on it um, and it was a, a, you know step by step just an absolute breeze to sew and um, I had this fabric already it's a denim chambray from um, first for fabrics um, so I, I, I think I might have had three and a half or four meters of this and um, it does say so this is quite wide, I think, this fabric. So it does say for a 140 wide fabric, for my size, it would be four metres, for extra small, 3.25. For a 152 centimetre wide fabric, it would be three metres for the extra small um, and three and a half metres for the XL or the 2XL. Um, but that's because it's quite a gathered skirt. And this, there's quite a lot of fabric in the sleeves as well. One of the lovely touches that I did like is that there's a separate... Um, facing for the sleeve which you can see on the end of my sleeve there's a seam there so it's you know that's nice I won't turn it too far I'm kind of going oh there's a cotton there and um, it's that sleeve is just so lovely and enclosed that whenever you're moving around it just feels like a really detailed finishing touch from the pattern testers I've seen this made in cord I've got some almost a nude needle cord that was a wasn't the colour I thought it was going to be when it came in lockdown. I think I've got six metres of it in the loft. So I've ordered some purple um, fabric machine dye and I'm going to cut that into three metre sections and chuck that in the machine and dye that um, and make another one because I absolutely love it. Um, I've seen people make it in viscose, in gingham. I think it could work in all fabrics, really, to be fair. Yeah, just an absolute delight. Um, and so comfortable and... I do need to make a public service announcement. As I was pattern testing, it has got pockets in. Now, whether it'll have pockets in when I make it again, because I'm not bothered about them. I did put my lipstick in it today, and then I was like, mm, no, I'll probably forget where I put that. That would be me. I'd put my phone in it and then spend half an hour looking around the house for my phone. Go, where's it at? I was like... <laughs> I was on the phone the other day like this, talking to somebody whilst walking around the house looking for my phone to look something up to tell them about it while I was on the phone. So you get the picture, don't you, really? So, yeah, um, treat yourself to it. Jane's patterns are such good value. The Nell dress is very similar. You know, you've got so many different versions. And I know with the Nell dress, um, Jane has already shared that she's going to um, bring out um, like an add-on pack for it with the longer sleeves that I kind of created in my own longer sleeves so it's got currently short sleeves it's like a jersey t-shirt dress and um, with a neckband but on the add-on pack it's going to have like a higher neckband and an option for long sleeves I don't know about any other bits in it but um yeah lovely really enjoyed it and I just I was watching Jane's information the other day and she's um completely self-taught at pattern dra drafting which I think is absolutely awesome and um, you know the little bits that I do and, and adaptations that I do I, I'm quite impressed when I do those but you know I think uh, massive well done to you Jane for, for teaching yourself how to do that that's quite amazing really so yeah what else is happening um I feel like, you know, on, on Sewing B where they go, it's, I don't know, 50s week or kids week. Well, in my household this week, it's going to be court week because 
I know I'm always talking about I've got big arms. Somebody went, I'm big arms. I haven't got big arms the other day. I went, I have got big arms. It's a reality of life. I have to do bicep adjustments sometimes, didn't on this because it's lovely and poofy sleeves. But a combination of big arms and poofy sleeves means they won't go into a lot of coats. So I have bought, I'll pop a picture of it, um, the paper cut patterns nova coat which i know lots of people have been made before you'll see on the picture it's kind of a cocoon coat very easy um well no i'm not gonna say i think it's quite an easy make um so i'm i'm gonna aim to get that cut out and made um you'll see on the picture i don't think it'll come out very well but i've got a gray wool fabric that i've had for a couple of years to make a coat and i've pulled out up, up on the top shelf there behind you, you can see the blue with the white daisies on i've picked out the gray colourway in that which is a viscose chalice but it's very soft I think it'll be okay to line it with but I'm not going to cut the lining straight away until I'm kind of get a bit of a feel for it and, and try it and see what it's like and um, so I, I just need a winter coat I'm terrible for kind of running around without it on but I need to be warm um, and of course I can, you've probably go have you not made that yet Alison no I haven't I've had the heather blazer cut out for weeks and Adele must be absolutely pulling the hair out with me. So that is my mission this week to work on the heather blazer and the Nova coat. And other couple of bits that I'm kind of stewing over. I've got some Christmassy fabric to make. A, um, I'm going to make a billy jumper. And if there's enough, some wide leg pants um, out of that, just as a bit of a lounge set. But the jumper I'll, I'd wear for kind of work. And the other thing that I'm thinking of doing is... The billy jumpers that I made last year are all patterned, but what I'm thinking is if I make uh, probably a pale blue or a pale pink, I don't know, one of those, and a black, just in a plain colour, then I can pull those over my other dresses um, and snuggle up a bit and layer up. You know, even this one, it would go over it because the necklines, it's not low, but, you know, it would sit over the top of it. Um, yeah, just for that, those sort of layering pieces. Um, I've got, hang on a sec. Prepare for a splash of colour. This is, I got in Primark about September, I think. I had this on the other day. I absolutely, no, I didn't have it on. I was trying it on because the tag's still there. I was trying this on the other day and I've got, a, well, I had, it's now in two pieces, a, a straight black jersey vest dress, um, which I've had for years, but it just, it needs a bit more room down the bottom. It looks, it looks most people probably go it looks fine but I want it a bit roomy so what I've done is chop the top of it off and I'm just going to use some um, black jersey and make sort of a skirt out of it um, and attach that on and then I thought anything that's patterned so my patterned jumpers and this one here because I love it it reminds me of licorice all sorts it's very 1970s isn't it and um, but I like the length of it so it stops kind of here so I'm going to do a cropped Billy, I think, or I might even do it in the 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 Nell T-shirt, but with long sleeves. I don't know yet. I don't know. I quite like that actually. I like the neckband on that, so I could do that. And um, and then I've got layering pieces. So that's kind of probably what I'm going to be on with for the next few weeks. If you're looking for the Gift to November vlog for today, um, unfortunately, lovely Kath from Kathcraft. Just you know, time gets. Things happen and time just doesn't marry up sometimes. So um, I, I, I'm sure that the cat's absolutely fine. And she, I know she was worried about not being able to do the vlog. And I just want to say, don't worry about it, cat. It's absolutely fine. Um, all of the challenges are a bit of fun and, um, you know, and inspiring. But sometimes life just gets in the way. Hence this. I'm recording it on Monday. And it, I intended to share it last Friday. Um, you know, if you kind of... I haven't done a vlog before which you know it's quite new for me doing something like this one that I'm doing now with the editing can take me a morning and um, so it is quite a time commitment and I love it I've got to say but yeah sometimes family and life has to be a priority rather than so that's me for the week that's a quick one isn't it I hope that whatever you're up to you're enjoying it and you're all doing fine let me know in the comments what you're making if you've got any gift in november and um, wip work in progress get that shared on instagram because we've had some fab ones so far i think i'll probably share some of those on 
Friday and let you see some of those. And yeah, I should be back to normal Friday, so hopefully. So take care. Bye for now.